Morning, happy hump day. It's Wednesday. Influence. When you think about the word influence, do you think of something that is good or bad? For many people, when they think of influence, they think Machiavellian, they think manipulation. And yet, influence is something that we all need to be able to do, particularly in an organizational context if we want to be successful. But influential people who make a difference know that influence isn't about what they need, it's about what others need. So when you want to think about influencing and influencing for good, it's not self-serving influence. It's thinking about the interests of others. So if I go back through my corporate career and I think about people who are influential and people who influenced for good, not for evil, to me there were 10 key things that stood out. And I want to share those 10 key things with you. And then I'm interested to hear what are other ideas that you have. So for me, the 10 key things that influential people do differently are firstly, they take the long-term view with relationships. They're not going to sacrifice a relationship for short-term gain. Secondly, they treat everybody with respect. They know that every interaction they have with a person matters and that everyone wants to feel valued. And that no matter where you are in the organizational hierarchy, you need to feel valued. Thirdly, they're not afraid to take a stand. And that means take a stand often on things that can be uncomfortable or that might go against what the majority is thinking. But they take a stand on things that matter. And so they're speaking up not just for themselves, but often speaking up for other people as well. Fourthly, they take the time to listen to people and ensure that people feel fully heard when they're raising an idea or a concern. Fifthly, they welcome ideas, different ideas, ideas from all walks of life, and they know that they don't have all the answers. They don't have the license on being right. Number six, they're not afraid to hire people who are smarter than them. And they know that they can't be successful alone, that they're going to need to have people around them who challenge them, who help them think differently. Number seven, and this can be a hard one, they're willing to admit that they have made a mistake and they appreciate that it's only by digging into that mistake and drawing the learnings from it that real change can occur for themselves but also occur for those around them. Number eight, they acknowledge, they appreciate the efforts of others and they're not going to take the glory for themselves. They know that they can't do it alone and that their success is usually collective success. Number nine, they understand themselves. They take the time to understand themselves. What makes them tick? What are their trigger points? What inspires, what motivates them? They also know how to regulate their emotions. Number 10, they know how to stand out, but they know how to do this in a way that's not all about them. So that's it. They're my key 10 points of differentiation for what influential people do differently. And I'd love to hear what are your thoughts? What are your ideas? Let me know. Take care and I will see you next week.